before Mass, we'll be praying the Divine Mercy Chaplet. We will together implore the Lord Jesus Christ to shower down his mercy upon us and upon the whole world. Let us pray together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to St. Mary's Catholic Parish. I'm Father Martin, your pastor. We just had a chapel of divine mercy done by our seminarian, and the incoming here is our deacon, Juan Torres. We are glad that you are here and that you're here serving with us. Brothers and sisters, today's Mass is going to be offered for the intentions of Regina Cruz. Virginia Cruz. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and, and with your spirit. spirit. Ah, now let us, brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the country of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us pray. Dios Todopoderoso y Eterno, que en la superabundancia de tu amor sopras so prepasas los misterios y aun, y aun los deseos de los que te suplican. Demerá sobre nosotros tu misericordia para que libras nuestras conciencias de toda inquietud in, 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 y nos concedas aunque ellos no que, nos, que no nos atrevemos a pedir. Por, su, por nuestro Señor Jesucristo, tu Hijo, que vive y reina contigo en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, y es Dios por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. Almighty and ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpasses the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscious dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us be seated as we listen to God's holy words. A reading from the first book of Kings. After the death of Naboth, the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Start down to meet Ahab, king of Israel, 
who rules in Samaria. He will be in the vineyard of Naboth, of which he has come to take possession. This is what you shall tell him. The Lord says, After murdering, do you also take possession? For this, the Lord says, In the place where the dogs licked up the blood of Naboth, the dog shall lick up your blood too. Ahab said to Elijah, Have you found me out, my enemy? Yes, he answered, because you have given yourself up to doing evil in the Lord's sight. I am bringing evil upon you. I will destroy you and will cut off every male in Ahab's line, whether slave or free man in Israel. I will make your house like that of Jeroboam, son of Nabat, and like that of Baasha, son of Ahijah, because of how you have provoked me by leading Israel into sin. Against Jezebel too, the Lord declared, the dogs shall devour Jezebel in the district of Jezreel. When one of Ahab's line dies in the city, dogs will devour him. When one of them dies in the field, the birds of the sky will devour them. Indeed, no one gave himself up to the doing of evil in the sight of the Lord, as did Ahab, urged on by his wife Jezebel. He became completely abominable by following idols, just as the Amorites had done, whom the Lord drove out before the children of Israel. When Ahab heard these words, he tore his garments and put on sackcloth over his bare flesh. He fasted, slept in the sackcloth, and went about subdued. Then the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Have you seen that Ahab has humbled himself before me? Since he has humbled himself before me, I will not bring the evil in his time. I will bring the evil upon his house during the reign of his son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Turn away your face from my sins, and blot out all my guilt. Free me from blood guilt, O God, my saving God. Then my tongue shall revel in your justice. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his son rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brother, brothers only, what is unusual about that? 
Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good afternoon, everyone. This is my first time giving a homily, so I'm going to try to do my best. And the point of each homily, it's for you and for me and for everyone who's listening to convert and to come to God. I always I like to start with a question. And the question that I have today is, where is my strength come from? We're facing so many challenging times, but we don't fear because Jesus Christ is our hope. He is our Savior. Is He my Savior on my daily basis, day in and day out? Today's collect prayer invites us to ask God with our pleas to hear us. Are we pleading Him to help us? God is always ready to give us his grace. But it's up to us if we want to open our minds and our hearts. We're invited to join so many channels, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, etc. The list goes on. Those can be helpful if we use them for God's glory. But today God invites us to join his mercy. Do I want to join him. In order to do that, this I have to be willing. I have to be willing to meet me where I'm at, in my struggles, in my darkness, in my ignorance, in my weakness, in my strengths. He knows exactly where we at. He can read our minds and our hearts. But the question is, do I allow myself to encounter God in my brokenness? This is a very difficult question for us, uh, ourselves. We are facing so many challenges during these times. But First Kings invite us to meditate the attitude of Ahab, king of Israel, who ruled Samaria. He came to take possession of Naboth's vineyard. The Lord exhorts him through Elijah by saying, After murdering, do you also take possession? Don't we sometimes murder with our tongue by saying insulting words to our loved ones? Do our loved ones become our enemies because we fail to love them? Yes, it does. We are human and we make mistakes. That's why the Lord invites us to receive his mercy. But in order to do this, I have to repent and believe in the gospel. To trust God with all my heart and all my mind and all my strength. We come to Jesus Christ to have an encounter and be converted in his love. God is always giving his mercy, but he also wants us to give mercy. Mercy is a gift of God's grace and love. And he wants us to share this with our brothers and sisters. When we receive his mercy, we should change in a new person who learns how to forgive and give mercy for those who hurt us. And those who make our lives miserable. We are called to love until it hurts. If we are asking God for mercy, we should also give it to those who ask of us. Receiving and giving mercy is part of the healing process. But the question is, am I willing to let go of everything that separates me from God's mercy? For example, pride. Lost, ignorance, arrogance, indifference, selfishness, 
self-centeredness, etc. Am I willing to shine for Christ? That's the new question. For example, imitating his mercy, his kindness, his goodness, his generosity, his self-giving, his purity, his service, his help, love, and service, and charity, especially faith, faith in our Heavenly Father. Only God can wash away our sins, our guilt, our offenses, etc. It is through Him that we are capable to be transformed in a new person. Only with His grace I can do this. I can live as a child of our Heavenly Father who makes His Son rise on the bad and on the good and causes rain to fall on the just and on the and unjust. We are called to love everyone, no matter who the person is. We are children of our Heavenly Father, our same Father. So with the string that you and me have, are we willing to love and pray for our enemies? El día de hoy, Dios nos da una lección muy grande, que es su misericordia. Su misericordia es un regalo para nosotros. Y nosotros lo podemos encontrar día a día en nuestro diario vivir. Lo hacemos con el arrepentimiento. Tenemos que arrepentirnos y creer en el Evangelio, en el Evangelio de Jesucristo, nuestro Salvador, que nos llama a ser personas nuevas, a ser transformadas en su amor y en su misericordia, que nosotros aprendamos a ser personas de paz, personas que llevan su bondad y su caridad a nuestros hermanos y a nuestras hermanas alrededor de nuestra comunidad. Sabemos que estamos viviendo momentos muy difíciles, pero Dios nos recuerda en su lectura del día de hoy que nosotros estamos llamados a imitar a Dios en su bondad, en su misericordia. Y estamos llamados a ser transformados, a ser nuevas personas, personas en Jesucristo, que lo imitamos y lo seguimos. Nosotros, como seres humanos, fallamos. Y a veces nuestros seres queridos se convierten en nuestros, pro, nuestros propios enemigos. ¿Por qué? Porque fallamos en el amor, porque el amor todo lo perdona, todo lo salva, todo lo puede. Con el amor podemos triunfar, pero necesitamos de la gracia de Dios para poder tener esta capacidad de amar y de perdonar a nuestros hermanos, a nuestros hermanos que nos ofenden y a veces incluso aquellos que nos hacen la, visa, la vida miserable. Es por la gracia de Dios que podemos imitarlo a Él. Y yo te pregunto a ti, ¿estás dispuesto a amar y servir y rezar por tus enemigos? Brothers and sisters, let us all stand and offer our prayers and petitions for our brothers and sisters throughout the whole world. For Pope Francis, bishops and cardinals, God, that you instill the grace and love and mercy upon them and have them be the shepherds that we need to shepherd us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our First respondents, both men and women, those who give their life to protect us, those who give their life to make sure that we are kept healthy, and for those who give their lives to make sure that we are fed. That God, you give them the strength and knowledge they need in order for us to have the necessary needs that we need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear our prayer. For our government leaders, we pray that you instill your wisdom upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For all our brothers and sisters throughout the world who are sick, those who are suffering whatever illness they may be suffering, 
that, God, you will send your healing touch upon them and you will console them as you console all of us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our brothers and sisters throughout the world who have passed away, and those who will pass away tonight and those who we will bury this week, that you will be there to guide those whose Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, please be seated as we prepare our altar. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bendito sea, Señor Dios y Universo, por este vino, fruto de la vida y el trabajo del hombre que recibimos de tu generosada, generosidad. Y a, ahora te presentamos, Él será para nosotros bebida de salvación. Bendito, Bendito sea, sea por siempre, siempre, Señor. With a humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. Oren, hermanos, para que ese sacrificio mío y de ustedes sea agradable. A Dios Padre Todopoderoso, el Señor recibe en tus manos ese sacrificio para la alabanza y la gloria de su nombre para nuestro bien y toda su santa iglesia. Excepta, Señor, el sacrificio que tú mismo nos mandaste ofrecer y por estos sagrados misterios que celebramos en complemento de nuestro servicio dignante, llevar al cambio en nosotros la santificación que proviene de tu redención. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Except the Lord, we pray the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for just as though through your beloved Son you created the human race, and so through him, with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all your redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too exalt with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Osana in the highest. Please kneel. Nos ponemos de rodillas. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down the Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, 
and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Del mismo modo, acababa la cena, tomó el cáliz y dándote gracias de nuevo, lo pasó a sus discípulos diciendo, Toman y beben todo de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de la alianza nueva y eterna, que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos, para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración mía. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Este es el misterio de la fe. Anunciamos tu muerte, proclamamos tu resurrección, ven Señor Jesús. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, Gregory, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, and with all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Nos ponemos de pie. Please, please rise. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Demos un, salino, un saludo de paz. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Correro de Dios que quite el pecado del mundo, ten piedad de nosotros. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Nos ponemos de rodillas. Let us all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Christ. Hermanos, en, es, hermanas, en estos tiempos no to, todos podemos recibir la, de la Eucaristía, pero Dios nos da esta oración para todos aquí, para que podamos todos estar en una comunidad. So, hermanos y e hermanas, oremos. Mi Jesús, creo que estás presente en el Santísimo Sacramento. Te amo por encima de todas las cosas y deseo recibirte en mi alma. Ya que en estos momentos no puedo recibirlo sacramentalmente, ven a menos espiritualmente a mi corazón. Te abrazo como si ya estuvieras allí y unidos totalmente a ti. Nunca me, present, me permites separar, separarme de ti. Amén. Brothers and sisters, at this time not all of us can receive of the Eucharist, but as one body, one body in Christ, we receive together. And so we pray this spiritual communion as God has taught, has taught us. May Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and a desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Dios omnipotente, saciados con este alimento y bebida celestiales, concédenos ser transformados en aquel a quien hemos recibido en este sacramento. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amen. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the, nourish by the sacrament which we have received so as to be transformed into what we consume. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. Brothers and sisters, we'd like to thank you for being here with us and worshiping with us. Again, welcome to all our family and friends in Facebook world uh, or YouTube world or just on our website. We'd like to thank uh, Deacon Juan Torres for delivering our homily today. And again, thank you to William, our seminarian who led us in the Chaplet of Divine Mercy before Mass. We thank them for their service to the church and we ask that you continue to pray for them as they continue their formation towards priesthood. Um, Deacon is only about a, 10 months away, 11 months away from ordination, and our seminary has got four years to go, but we continue to pray for his discernment towards priesthood. Brothers and sisters, just a reminder that tomorrow, again, tomorrow we will have a night of adoration, an opportunity to sit in your homes, and have the Blessed Sacrament come to you via the internets, via the websites, um, a night of adoration. Uh, Dave and Laura Moore have promised to be here with us tomorrow night, and they have also, Dave has also, um, will lead us in a small little reflection. So we ask that you join us for that. And in two weeks, we will have it in, in Spanish as well. So we ask that you join us for that as well. Um, just to reiterate some of the messages from last from yesterday, VBS is on its way, so registration has already begun and it's already starting to um, take place. So please, 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 if you want to register your kids, get so do so sooner than later. Um, and also, our CIA is taking new names and numbers for those who are interested in uh, obtaining a participating in next year's classes and we thank you for both of that oh yes and finally registration for our school is happening as well so uh, for next year's um, class in 2020 to 2021 we are taking registrations at our school as we speak we've already got a great number of kids there and we hope that your children can join as well until then brothers and sisters the lord be with you with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.
Have a beautiful afternoon. God bless, and we'll see you again tomorrow at 3 p.m. God bless.